Peace, everybody. Thomas Amal with another special, special, special edition of Conversation Corner. I'm going to get right back. I get right into it. And what we're going to talk about or what I'm going to talk about is something that um, I started learning about a while ago. And I started recognizing it in myself. And it's something that I, um, I really believe that not only myself, but others, we can start the process of cleaning this out. And that is when you live your life looking for love or praise or, you know, comments and things like that from others, that's something that we need to really stop doing. And you know why I say that? What we need to do, and this is just my suggestion, what we really need to do is turn that process around. What we should do is, is look within ourselves Look within ourselves and train ourselves to look within ourselves for that unconditional love in the place where it's actually generated from. Nobody can love you more than you can love yourself. Think about loving yourself more. Think and really make that shift to understanding that you are in control of your thoughts. Make yourself in control of who you are. Learn who you are. Be the best that you can. These things are generated from within you. Learn to adore yourself, to appreciate yourself, and to go on. Move on. Move on. You know, do the best to stay in alignment with yourself. How difficult is that? It can be very difficult. It probably can. It probably can. It, it's taken me some time. You know, but if you learn how to stay in alignment with yourself, you can in turn turn around and be one of the biggest and the best examples out there to show other people how to stay in alignment and learn how to get in alignment with themselves, learning who they are, keeping out all of the negativity, cleaning out. Once you clean out the ugliness, the negative thought patterns, stop allowing that nastiness to come within your world. What it does is it cleans out the vibrations. It does. It removes the point, the ugliness within your points of attraction. It, it just removes all of the negative experiences that come to mind that can embed themselves and stay in your mind and in your unconscious mind. But what we're trying to do now or what we are doing, we're going to uh, first of all, we're going to eliminate that word try. But what we're doing now is we're getting it out. We're in that washing machine. We're going through that cycle and we're cleaning it with the detergent. And then we're rinsing it out, and now we're putting in that fabric softener so we can come out smelling good. Been washing clothes for many a years. <laughs> so with that, this is Thomas Amal Conversation Quarter, but I have to tell you, this is what gets to me. Most people, believe me when I say that, most people are aware of the things that they can't get in alignment with. They can't get. Most people are aware of the things that they don't want more than the things that they do want and the things that they desire. And then they'll turn around and blame somebody else. You have to understand that emotion, emotion guides you to where you are and who you are. But it all starts up here. Your thought patterns. Change your way of thinking because it's actually thought that changes you. Thomas Amal Conversation Corner, remember as I always like to end it, be smart, think first. Think first. Be smart. Come along with me. I'm Life's Liaison. This is what I do. I will go out of my way to help you reach the points of where you want to reach, the goals that you have in mind, all of those things that you have, that you everybody has something that they would like to, to obtain. Come with me. Let me help you. Do it now. Conversation Corner, out.